Our Bible story is Joseph's coat of many colors, based on the book of Genesis, chapter 37 and chapter 48. Jacob lived in the land where his father Isaac had stayed, the land of Canaan. God had blessed him with a family of 12 sons. Now, his 11th son, Joseph, a young man of 17, was tending the flocks with his brothers, and he told his father about the bad things his brothers were doing. Joseph loved, honored, and respected his father, Jacob. He did that by hearing, listening, and doing what his father had taught and asked of him. Jacob taught his sons to love God, work hard, and be a person of integrity. Joseph wanted to please his father and obeyed him. While his brothers did not care what their father said, they were going to do what they wanted and slacked off in their work in the fields. Jacob loved Joseph more than any of his other sons because he had been born to him in his old age and he made him a coat of many colors. When his brothers saw that their father loved him more than any of them, They hated him and could not speak a kind word to him. Joseph had a dream, and when he told it to his brothers, they hated him all the more. When he told his father as well as his brothers about these dreams, his father rebuked him and said, What is this dream you had? Will your mother and I and your brothers actually come and bow down to the ground before you? His brothers were jealous of him, but his father kept the matter in mind. Joseph's brothers were not kind to him, and he ended up in the land of Egypt. But he remembered all that his father Jacob taught him about loving God, working hard, and being a person of integrity. Joseph had some bad things happen, but they would turn around for his good. When we honor and obey our parents, things go well for us. Lula, our Bible truth today is respect and honor, especially with our parents. The story today talked about Jacob and his 12 sons. And there was one, Joseph, and he loved and honored and respected his father. He listened, he learned, and he obeyed all that his father was teaching him and asking him. But most of all, when he did that, Everything always worked out for his good. And in the book of Ephesians, it tells us that when we honor our mother and father, that is the first commandment with a promise where we can say that we do good and we honor them, that things are going to go well for us. What a great deal. I think that's what we should try and practice ourselves today, that we're listening to our mom and dad and we're obeying them. Most importantly, did you know that God picked the special right mom and dad just for you? They have a special job to care for you, to love you, and show you how you can be the best that you can be. So help them out. Be a good listener. Do well. And everything else is going to be great. Our memory verse from the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 2 and 3. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, so that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on earth. It has been such a sweet time sharing our story about respect and honor. And we want to go and ask God to bless our time and to thank him. So let's get our praying hands. Say, Lord, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for loving me and guiding me and showing me the best way to do things. And Lord, I want to thank you for my family, that you watch over them, protect them, and keep them safe. And most of all, that they know how much you love them. 
And Lord, I continually ask you to fill me with your love and give me the strength and the energy that I need to respect and honor my parents because I know that things will go well for me when I do. Thank you for your promises. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. And thank you for loving me. In Jesus' mighty name, all God's kids said, Amen. Thank you for watching CWC Kids. Join us again next Sunday at 9 a.m. when we share another Bible story. You can access CWC Kids videos on our YouTube channel at Covenant Word Church Key West, our website at covenantwordchurch.org, or our Facebook page at CWC Key West. Please subscribe to be sure you don't miss an episode of Building Character on the Foundation of God's Word. See you next time on CWC Kids. Have a blessed week.